In July 1977, the Old Bailey jury found Gay News and its editor, Mr. Dennis Lemon, guilty over the publication of a poem and accompanying drawing about Jesus Christ. It was the first case of its kind for 56 years. Last March, the convictions and fines totaling 1,500 pounds were upheld by the Court of Appeal, but a suspended prison sentence imposed on the editor was set aside. Mr. Lemon said after today's ruling that he would now consider taking the case to the Human Rights Court in Strasbourg. Now back to Robin Day. The law lords decided by three to two to uphold the conviction for blasphemy of the homosexual paper Gay News and its editor, Dennis Lenham. The case, which was the first of its kind for over 50 years, arose out of a poem and picture published in Gay News. The poem, as Lord Diplock puts it, purports to describe in explicit detail acts of sodomy, etc., with the body of Jesus Christ immediately after his death on the cross. The poem would have undoubtedly revolted many people. But was the conviction for blasphemy good in law? And should the rarely invoked law of blasphemy be thrown into the legal dustbin? Well, I've been studying the full judgments. Lord uh, Dillon, Russell and Scarman upheld the appeal. Lords Diplock and, Lord, and Edmund Davis were in the minority who would have dismissed the appeal. Now, the only point in the appeal was whether the prosecution had a duty to prove not merely intention to publish a blasphemy, but also an intention in publishing it to shock and outrage believing Christians. The majority held that publication of the blasphemy was the offence and that the conviction should be upheld. All the law lords agreed that the poem was blasphemous and described it variously as quite appallingly shocking, outrageous and all expressed feelings of revulsion. All agreed that blasphemy is still a criminal offence. Well, here with me is the editor of Gay News, Dennis Lemon, and I would like to ask him to give his comment on the judgment. Well, I think it was a very woolly judgment. I still don't think the situation has been clarified at all. Um, it had been hoped by many people that uh, there would be a clear decision come from the House of Lords. But I certainly don't think that that's happened at all. But it's a clear decision in the sense that they all agree that blasphemy is still a criminal offence. Yes, they agree about that, but uh, what actually constitutes the crime of blasphemy, I still think is unclear. There's no support whatever, even among the minority, for the view that this poem was not blasphemous and was not offensive to Christians, is there? That would be the opinion of the Lords, the, the opinion of many other people, um, professors of poetry, English literature, um, my readers, members of the public who've seen the poem, myself, it is not a blasphemous poem. But there's no support among the law lords for the view that the jury was wrong in finding it to be a blasphemy. In my opinion, the jury had and never had a chance to actually judge the poem or to hear what the poem was about and what my intentions were in publishing they it. They had the poem in front of them. Right, but not everyone's an expert on poetry. Now, the minority... Um, uh, the two lords uh, who w w would have allowed the appeal, they were in favour of the appeal um, solely because they thought the prosecution should have had to prove that you published with the intention of shocking and offending believing Christians. Now, had you been able to give evidence on that point, what would you have said about your intention? I'd have explained the reason why it appeared in my newspaper, um, why it was intended to reach just one section of my readership and that I felt, felt it had something to say to a small minority of my readers who have great problems reconciling their homosexuality with their Christianity. Uh, but would you have uh, denied the intention to shock people? Yes, I most certainly would. Uh, what are you going to do about this now? I've read uh, um, that a report on the agency tape that you're going to try and appeal to the European Court. Is that correct? Well, at the, at the moment we're discussing that with our, with our lawyers. And if they feel that there is a strong enough case, we might well take it to Strasbourg. What grounds would you think there was a case to appeal? Still the mens rea issue, the intention but issue. Yes. I don't feel I've ever had a, a chance to say why that poem was published and what, what was intended by publishing the poem. You see, um, let me just summarise the law of blasphemy to you, which is quoted by one of the law lords. Every publication is said to be blasphemous, which contains any contemptuous, reviling, scurrilous matter relating to God, Jesus Christ, etc. Um, but it is not blasphemous to speak or publish opinions hostile to the Christian religion or to re deny the existence of God if the publication is couched in decent and temperate language. Uh, do you think a European court or any reasonable person would say that wasn't a reasonable balance of freedom? Well, I wasn't intending to outrage or deny the existence of God. Uh, the poem we published um, affirmed the existence of God and said that whoever you are, whatever situation you may be in, 
um, God's love is there for you. Bearing in mind the disgust and revulsion expressed by all the law lords, even those who would have allowed your appeal, uh, and uh, bearing in mind the uh, conviction being upheld, uh, Mrs. Whitehouse can claim now to be vindicated, can she not, in having launched the prosecution? I don't think so. I still think that the, today's decision leaves us none, none that, that, not that much clearer than we were in the first place. I still think that too many people are reading the poem as a piece of prose. They're not realising and seeing that poetry is about imagery, um, works on various levels, and this whole area of what poetry is as opposed to prose just hasn't been gone into. But the imagery might have been, and obviously was, uh, grossly offensive to a number of people, was it not? Um, yes, but who? Um, the only person who there ever was a well, reaction... Well, a jury, four law lords, and uh, probably the, other people as well. But originally, the only person there was a reaction from was Mrs. Mary Whitehouse. Thank you very much. That was the editor of Gay News, Mr. Dennis Levin.